Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and tonight I was going to play Lumber Tycoon 2. I promise. Like, I tried it three times, and every single time it was shutting down. Roblox is currently undergoing maintenance, blah, blah, blah. Update this, update that. And it was just shutting down left and right. So, uh, I apologize. I normally don't do, like, two scripting videos or two build videos back-to-back, -back, but I've got to do something for you guys tonight, and this is it. This is going to be what's going on. I'm, I'm going to be building this. And um, basically what I want this to be is, like, um, the main little area, not a tavern, but, like, a main adventurer's hall. So, um... When you come in here, there there's going to be like um, a guild master and a quest giver and a quest board and stuff like that. So um, the other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to work on like an intro, an interface of some kind that like appears whenever you come in here. Oh wait, what was that? <gasps> no, look at the bottom. I forgot to change the bottom of those. Okay, no, that's okay because that's going to be covered by a roof, like a, a middle roof hold on let's uh let's go ahead and do that now grab this go to model scale and just pull that out so there we go that's awesome and we'll just go ahead and make the roof on that now boink there we go that way the bottom's all nice and smooth um i did have like a picture of a medieval let's do snip snipping snip 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 <coughs> Of like a, a medieval thingy. I just looked up medieval village and castle kind of thing. And I noticed that like the walls are really dingy. It's got cobblestone and then the door and like the different things. And I tried to match them the best I could. I'm probably going to have to like make my own textures to get it right on. But for now, uh, just to build, I just kind of wanted to replicate what that looks like. So... Um, hold on. How did that look on the sides? Okay, it's got one bar going up and then like two bars off to the side. So, uh, let's do this. Let's take this and we are going to duplicate it. Uh, maybe. Oh gosh, I like completely missed a side here. Um, all right, just delete. Get out of there. Grab this one. Uh, duplicate. Control D to duplicate. We're just gonna move this right over here like that. That way it's attached. Also, um, these were my two starting bricks. Like these were my pallet, I guess you'd call them. They have changed since then, so I need to go ahead and delete these two. Um, hold Shift to grab two and delete. I may not be the best builder in the world, but I don't think I'm bad. Uh, let's duplicate, pull that out. This is going to be my pallet. Uh, duplicate, pull that out. Uh, by the way, the the barrel and the um, crates over here, these are the free models that you can get over on the side here. Uh, let's get rid of the sides. We don't need that. Get it nice and big so you guys can see. Okay, so let's take this. Um, shift, no, control, D, duplicate. Pull that up. Is there a way to like slice this, I wonder? Or, oh, shape, wedge. Let's change this shape style to a wedge. No, no, that's not, that's not how to do it. How do you do a wedge? Come on, seriously. Uh, let's go into model, part, wedge. All right, what's a wedge do? How did they get the shape of the wedge? Is there like a cut or a special? There's position, rotation, velocity, size, surface inputs. What are surface inputs? Oh my gosh. I, I really don't know what that means. Okay, let's just change it. We'll go ahead and get rid of that one. Pull this one down. Dum, dum, dum. Dum, 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 dum. Whoa. Is there a second one there? There was a second one there. What? It's crazy. All right, take this wedge, and we're going to rotate on the Y axis, right there. Then we're going to size it, scale down to one stud, and then we're going to move it right there. 
and size it over here, like that. Uh, size it up some, like that. Looks good. Um, do I want, yes, I want another one of these. So this is actually going to be, let's see, move. We're going to move up one like this. I'm going to grab this and shift, no, nope, control D, move up like that. That way it's just in the edge there, like that. And then, um, okay, let's go ahead and, and get this part anchored. Otherwise it's going to fall down the moment that we play. And then we're going to change the material to concrete. Good. And the color to, to what, is, what is this color? It's that one right there. So grab this one and that color right there. That's perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Spot on. Um, the surface we want smooth, oh, smooth with no outlines. Smooth, no outlines. Get under there. Yep. And that side. And does this side really matter? I mean, can you get that side? There we go. Yeah. And that should be it. Okay. I don't know if that's right in the middle or not. So let's go ahead and move. Control D to duplicate. Rotate. We're going to rotate this 180 degrees right back the other direction. <coughs> oh, wait. That was off a little bit. Come back in. There we go. And let's move. Boink. Oh, we are two studs too far. So let's move this one one stud this direction. Boink. Oops, oops, too far. One stud that direction. Then we're going to scale it down by one stud. Then we'll move this stud. Or this one stud. Oh, darn it. Z, move. I really should learn the uh, shortcut keys. One stud this direction and scale it one stud down. Even, even, perfect. And that should look smooth. Can't tell, eh, it's fine. Uh, it won't really matter because we're actually going to cover it up with more boards. Control duplicate, move, pull this up. And we want to rotate. Um, let's rotate it exactly 90 degrees and then scale it down like this. Um, hmm. It's not exactly one stud, is it? Yeah, that'll be fine. Each fine. Pull that down like that. Maybe a little bit more. It's okay. It's okay. We might even raise that because if we go and look at our image, the uh, the peaks of the roof, these are actually like isosceles triangles, 90 degree triangles. So let's get this up some like that. Wow, that's, that's really tall. I don't know that I like that too much. Uh, maybe if it were like one story tall. Do I really need a second floor? I mean, there's there's a lot of room in here. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and keep it a second floor. The downstairs will be like a shopettes, and then the upstairs will be the quest givers, stuff like that. I think. Yes. All right, let's duplicate that and rotate. We want 45 degree angles. Uh, about there. I think. Oh, 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 what happened? Oh, I moved it in the wrong way. All right, down, down. That's cool. Oh, that looks cool. It's not quite even, but that'll get covered up by the, uh, the roof itself. Uh, and I think I should probably cover that one up as well. That's not quite 90 degrees. In fact, that's like way off from 90 degrees. Yeah, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. Let's go duplicate. 
and rotate. We want to go the opposite direction. Same angle. And then move. Move that right in place like that. How does that look down here? Eh. Looks a bit off. That's okay. I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to turn off my move lock. Scale it. And we're just going to pull this out just a hair. That way it doesn't look like it's clipping the whole time. Then we're going to turn that back on. And yeah. That looks good. Very cool. Alright. And I, will, I want another one on the opposite side. So let's just go ahead and grab... I'm holding shift on all of these. Control D to duplicate. By the way, do you see how it's making little parts over there on the side? Like over here, it's just parts, 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 parts. Yeah. All right, let's move this on out. Oh no, there's one in my way. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that and then let's grab. Uh, I grabbed a little bit more than I wanted to, okay. Um, alt, shift, click, alt, shift, click. Now is it just, what else am I grabbing? Oh, alt, shift, click. There we go. Now it's just the model that I wanted. That's perfect. We'll grab here, turn this around, blink, like that, move, right in. Sweet. Now, I don't know how I'm going to prevent people from, like, jumping over the ledges. Or, I don't even know if I want to stop them from going over the tops. But, yeah. Um, if you haven't seen the overall thing of this, it's going to be like a Zelda stylish play thingy. I don't know. Adventures. Just adventures and fun and quest. And awesome quest. That's what it is. Quest. Lots of quest. All right. Let's grab this one here. And wait, is that even okay? That's good. And let's go control D to duplicate. Bring up like that. I'm just gonna bring this over like that. We're going to scale this out a little bit. One stud past on both sides. One stud past the, the board, right? Um, no. Is there angle board across the top? There is. Okay, so if you look right here across the top, before it gets to the shingles, there's an actual board on there. So I need to recreate that. Let's grab this. Duplicate. Move. I knew I was missing a part. Let's go right there, and let's scale, 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 scale. Now we can rotate, um, blue axis, Z axis. It's just not quite there, okay. Let's rotate by five degrees, get as close as we can. Nope, even five degrees is too much. 2.5. We'll just split that in half. One, two. Oh, there we go. And let's go ahead and do move. Move that down just a little bit. Is that about right? All right. We're going to turn off the move by exact amounts. Oop. Grab this, pull it down just a little bit. There. Sweet. And scale, come down to the corner. We actually want it to overhang some, right? Just like that. And then, what did they do on here, up here on the top? They angled it like that. Actually, can we put the peak of it at the very top like that? Maybe, and then this can go into the board. Because it's, it's, the same, like, pulled out in the first one. Looks good. 
Looks good. Okay. Now we can duplicate. Control D. And move. Come out one. Oh, darn it. All right, Control Z, Z. We're not moving by one stud again. There we go. Move by one stud. The reason you want to always move by one stud is because it, it keeps everything in line. Just right. All right, let's come in out of the sides, out of the sides. Let's scale this up through the board. There we go. Good, 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 good. And yeah. So let's grab both of these. Grab this one and this one. Oops, shift and that one. And we're going to control D, rotate. And then we're going to grab this one. Oh, oh, oh. Control V. We're going by that again. Rotate by 10. And here we go. It just makes it easier when you're doing whole numbers. Move. That right there. I feel kind of like Bob Ross right now. Just a, a happy little roof. <laughs> That's not even. It's not even. Let's go up one more. All right, we do have to turn off the one stud move lock. But just in like that. It's close. It's really close. We'll leave it. Looks good. Looks good, good, good. And then let's turn this into a blue tiled roof. Uh, I don't expect to get the exact look, but we're going to get really close. It's like a tealish color, like that. The material looks like... Bricks? Kind of looks like bricks, but it's not bricks. They would be bigger bricks. Should I use bricks as tiles? No. Do we have tile? Is there a tile? Uh, metal foil, grass, ice, brick, sand, fabric. Fabric? What does fabric look like? Eh, no. New. Cobblestone, smooth plastic, no, no, no. Wood planks. <gasps> Wood planks! Nice! That looks glorious. Alright. Um, we're going to change the move back and 2.5 again for the angle. We're going to rotate. And. Right the way down. Like that. We're going to move up like that. Just so it's barely through the roof. Halfway through the roof. Now, if we scale it down to here. Oh, that looks awesome. Oh, uh, I need to take that out. Surface is smooth, no outlines. Smooth, no outlines, smooth, no outlines. Smooth, no outlines, and whoa, whoa. Smooth, no outlines, sweet. Okay, now we can go back to scaling. Scale all the way up, right there. Perfect. And let's do rotate by tens, and control D to duplicate, rotate. And we're going to go right the way around. And move. Here we go. Oh, wait. We went way too far. Come back down. Blink. And move. How about we figure out what these shortcut keys are? Control 2. Control 1. Control 3. Control 4. And transform. Which, by the way, transform is an amazing tool, but I'm not using it tonight. Can we come down one more? Nope. Okay. So we're going to have to put this back to 2.5. <clears throat> Just have to go and guess the best angle for this. Um, rotate. 
We're gonna go up, up, like that. It's about even. Looks really good, actually. I like the way that looks. That's cool. Now, did these hang down? They do. They hang down just a smidge past where they're supposed to. I'm actually going to move this or scale it down, scale down, scale, 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 scale down, just like that. Same on this side. Nope, oh, right there. Scale down there. That way, there's a there's a significant overhang. <clears throat> now, for the top, the very tippy tippy top, we're going to do duplicate this one here, and then we're going to scale it all the way down, and we're just going to take out the rotation. Um, zero zero zero. And then we're going to center that like this. Actually, you know what? Let's not make it that. Let's make it one of these. Control D to duplicate. Take that up to the middle like that. And rotate. Let's do it by tens. Tens are always easier to work with. And let's go ahead and move this up like that. Nice. Push it in like that. Ooh, not quite what I wanted. All right, let's do scaling a little bit. Come up some. Is it off center? No, these are not long enough. That's what that is. So let's do scale. Or control three. I'm just gonna scale these into the board. Ooh, did that go too far? That did. Uh, let's not move by one. Just scale it just barely in. There we go. Same on this side. It actually looks pretty good. In fact, let's let's not mess with that because it's perfect. Switch this back to move by one. Grab this. And all the way across, like that. <laughs> Sweet. Just on, off the edge. Just off the edge. There we go. That actually uh, resembles somewhat of what it looks like. Kind of. Um. <laughs> close. Very close. Um, I'm actually going to lighten up the the roof some. Let's go a little bit lighter color like that. And a little bit lighter color like that. And yeah. It's still it's darker than that. Hmm. It's like right in between. So now um, by the way this is this is off of a like film of some kind. I don't know where where I got it. But it's cool. Oh man. All right, the lights are not good in here. And I don't like that hanging out like that. So, let's grab this. Here. Ooh. No. Stop. There we go. Pull that out some. Grab this, pull it out some. And I will probably put doors here instead. But for now, this is what it looks like. Building the Adventurer's Hall. Glorious. Oh, what is this? Surface, smooth, no outlines, click, click. There we go. If you want to get rid of these build lines, you got two options. You can either build into the sides or exact measurements, which is what I should probably do so they can't catch an edge on there. But I'm going to leave it as is for now. Oh. We got a little bit of a gap here. <laughs> All right, let's uh, scale this up so it disappears. There we go. Scale that up a little bit. There's still a gap there. Oh, man. Oh, do we need to make... Uh... Here, 
Let's uh, scale these, actually, this direction one. There we go. That'll cover up that. Does that one not have a thing? Oh, that's what I did. Okay, let's scale this down one. Down one. There we go. And in one. Doesn't look too odd. Actually looks pretty good, I think. Uh, I could probably take that across the sides. I'll leave it alone for now. <clears throat> now, in this back corner, right here, I want like a spiral staircase. Something, something majestic and awesome looking. So let's do a cylinder. Pull this. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Hold on. Z. And it doesn't really matter its texture or shape right now because we're going to change it. Mm, scale down. And we're going to turn this negative. So when we scale it, it does a funky, like, all scaling thing. Rotate. I'm gonna go this way. And I'm gonna place it right there. Uh, we need to scale a little bit more. Oh, 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 why is it not scaling to the edge? Hold on, can we... Not, there we go. Now, I should be able to just move down. Let's actually go one scale. One, two, three. And then move. One, two, three. That's close. <laughs> uh. Why is that? Okay. That's weird. I don't know why that's happening. But we'll leave it alone. What happened? Where did you go? Get back here. Alright. Just slam me against the wall. There you go. <clears throat> uh, let's turn it unnegative for just a second. Not negative. And scale it down some. We just want it to punch a hole. We don't want a full scale like thing. Uh, I'll go negative. Move. Put it down like this. And then we hold shift. Grab the floor. And union. Boink. There we go. Oh, but it made it the roof color. No. Alright, so let's go control Z to undo. Uh, go from negative back to. Oops. We did just this one is all we want. Okay, just this. Go unnegative. We'll change this to. Um, let's just do black. Black uh, material will be wood. No, is it wood? Yeah, wood grain. And then negative, select, union. Oh, wait, did I not? There we go. Union. Boom. There we go. Now we can put in our staircase. Yay! Um. I don't really have a quick way of getting over here, but, oh, I know what I can do. I can just hit play. Hmm. How can I get over here quickly? Oh, I know, I know. Hold on, hold on. Let's grab our coordinates right here. Actually, here, pull this barrel right here. Grab its position. Uh, there we go. That's the position I want. Copy. And note pad. Paste. So those are the coordinates I want. So let's hit control Z on this, put the barrel back. We'll hit F5, start running. Okay. There I am. Oh my goodness. I'm R15. I didn't mean to be R15. I thought I was still in R8 mode. Oh, that is awesome. Cool. I guess. 
Is this the same game? Wait a second. Where's my scripts? Hold on. Starter player, starter player characters, anti-exploits. Okay, that's that's all in there. Strange. All right, let's go to players. Uh, no, let's go to player one. There we go. Nope, that's not the one. I want that one. That's the model. So, player one. Look for the humanoid right there. And position. Position, position, position. No, that's not right. Rig type is R15. That's the camera set. Wait a second, where's torso? It's torso, or hum humanoid, humanoid torso. Humanoid root part, there we go. That's what I want. Position. Position, position, I don't see position. There it is, position. And we'll take and copy that position that we got earlier from our notepad, this, and I'm going to paste it here. Yay, there we go. Now we can see it in all its glorious form and its mistakes. Yay. Oh, that looks cool. It's a big adventure hall. In fact, I probably didn't make that to scale like I should have. In fact, it's a... Oh, can I not even... I can't climb up the the stairs. No. But this will be like a lounge area with like a whole bunch of cool stuff. That's going to be awesome. Then we'll be able to go up some stairs right here. I could probably make that bigger. So. Anywho. <laughs> that looks awesome. I mean, it's no, it's no, like, not that, well, not yet, but it's getting there. Looks good. Hmm. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Did you like this video? Um, I, again, I apologize. I was going to play some Lumber Tycoon 2, but instead I ended up building, and I think I did a really good job. I still need windows and a door and people on the inside and things to actually happen. Like, the game's very, very early, so I hope you're going to stick with it and stay with me and see everything that's going to be awesome in this thing. Um, but yeah, really do let me let me know in the comments. Do you want more of this or more gameplays or are you happy the way it is? It's up to you guys. I'm having fun both ways, so I can, I can do both. Um, I love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. As always, we'll talk to you soon. And there is no pressure to actually subscribe. That's just something I have to call out. So, have a great night, guys. Love you.